Hi, this is Ian, your STMLS specialist. Today, let's talk about the Paragon homepage. For mastery of this and all topics, please remember to play, pause, and practice. You'll see this homepage when you first log in to Paragon. The power search here at the top can be used to search for listings, property searches, your saved contacts, and even members and offices. To search for a listing, you can use an MLS number. You can even type in multiple MLS numbers separated by commas. If you'd like to search by an agent's name or even a street name, you can simply type it in. You will see the top 10 results for each section. Continuing along, we'll get to Assume Identity. This is useful if you have an assistant that is going to be working on your behalf. Or maybe you have a partner that you team with on a regular basis and you need to work as them. Maybe they need to work as you to make a change on a listing. This is something that you can set up to grant Assume Identity privileges. The MLS Documents section is an awesome resource. You can find out more information about the Collab Center, HomeSnap, your MLS input forms, which of course are great for listing input, but also for searches. The search fields are going to be the exact same fields that you'll see on the searching, excuse me, on the listing input forms. There are of course other training guides which are highly useful. And then, of course, the last thing I'll bring your attention to are the MLS rules and regulations. You can find your forms here to exclude. Um, you can actually look through all of the rules and regulations as well. Let's go ahead and close this. And now, also up here, we're going to see Compose Email. When we click on Compose Email, it opens up a blank email window to allow you to send an email message out to anyone in your address book. Or, of course, you can simply type an email address in the two CC or BCC columns to get an email sent out. Feel free to use the attachment feature if you have any files you wish to attach. Help will go into further detail about some of the items that you see here um, in the training guide. Please go here for more detailed instructions or feel free to call into the tech support line. Log off, of course, will log you off of the system. And here is the minimize button. If you'd like a inch or two of extra space on your screen, simply click here. And there you are. The Paragon icon is always going to take you back to the home page from no matter where you are. You'll see here that there are currently four tabs open. When we click on Paragon, we get back to home. If we were back over here in contacts and we clicked on home, we would also go back to home. So you can actually use these as, uh, use these interchangeably. The search icon will allow you to get to any of your search pages or your saved searches. Here you will find all of the different types of searches you can perform. Here are the specialty searches. Inventory is a search just for you. For you, information on the inventory for your office or you specifically as an agent. The tour and open house search, of course, is where you're going to go to find information on tours and open houses. And let's not forget the hot sheet search so we can find those changes that have occurred within Paragon. Your saved property searches are here, and here are your listing carts. The listing carts are a place where you can save individual listings that don't necessarily match a saved search. Let's continue on here to listings. Listings is where you can add a new listing, maintain a listing, or go through some of your sentry lock options. The CMA icon here takes you to a module which will put together a comparative market analysis report. You will enter in client information, 
your subject property information, and then you'll need to complete a search with the relevant criteria to produce results for your CMA. The Contacts tab will take you to your saved contacts. You can add a contact, view your saved contacts, or group them together. You can also go to Sent Items, which will show you all sent items from the system, or Reverse Prospecting. This is a feature that you can use if you have an active listing. When you have an active listing, you'll go to Reverse Prospecting, and it will show you all saved searches in Paragon that match your property. This way you can reach out to an agent and let them know that they have a client that may be interested in your property. Let's continue to financials. Here you will find several calculators. A few of the more popular ones are here, the 15-year versus 30-year mortgage, the buyer cost, and also the net proceeds. The tax icon will allow you to access the CRS tax data system. This is where you can go to get assessor records, owner information, sales history, mortgage history. You can even do a search to mark it out to a particular area if you wish to get addresses for a particular neighborhood or community. The membership icon will allow you to see all information for our members. The agent roster simply alphabetizes the results by agent, whereas the membership roster alphabetizes by office and then agent. Feel free to use either of those. Resources. This is very, very useful. Now, I will tell you, most of these links will take you outside of Paragon to other resources. However, a couple that stay in are the statistical reporting, which is very, very useful. And I'd also like to show you the uh, data co-op that also stays in the system. Find and RPR are national searches, which are very useful. Uh, we talk about InfoSparks here. It's great for stats on a particular neighborhood. You'll find options here for Property Panorama and Cloud CMA. But more importantly, over here are your MLS links. Under MLS links, you're going to find information here for CDAR, which is the California Desert Area MLS, the California Los Angeles West Area. This is the MLS for the area east of the Bay uh, around Oakland. MLS listings covers the Silicon Valley area, and CRMLS uh, generally covers Riverside and Orange. However, we have all of their residential listings here in Paragon. The only other icon that I'll bring your attention to up here would be preferences. I highly recommend that you go through all of your preferences. Here are your basic preferences here. If you'd like help going through this list, what you'll want to do is go over here to the Preferences Wizard. This will take you through step-by-step. Step. Whereas the Collab Center Preferences Wizard will take you through a step-by-step step setup of your Collab Center. And of course, the CMA Preferences Wizard will help you set up your CMA module. And that's the icon that we talked about just a little while ago. You will not have this icon here, so we'll go ahead and skip past that. Any tab that you have open will be available for you to access. Right now you'll see I have a residential tab and if we click on here we'll get to a residential page. If we clicked on the contacts we will see my saved contacts and again we can go back to residential to find things as they were or go ahead and click ahead to MLS documents. No matter how many sections you have open you will have a tab that goes along the top Feel free to click on the tab to access it, or click on the X to remove it.
continuing along, you're going to see what are called widgets. The widgets are the message center, the market monitor, the contact activity, the calendar, Paragon News, and the quick search. And now I will let you know, your page may look different. The reason is, is that you can move your widgets around the page so that way it's better suited for you. For instance, I think I'd much rather have my news over here on the left. So let's move that over here, giving a lot more room for my quick search so I can add other fields to this search. Let's look over here. The message center is a place that will give you any actions that you should take or actions that are recommended by Paragon. For instance, if you've started a listing and the listing was not saved, you'd have a message here to let you know that there is one listing in the recovery section. The market monitor will always allow you to find out what's going on in your desired area. What's new? What has expired? How many price changes have there been? Your contact activity is a wonderful section to help you keep up with your contacts. This simply lets you know if there were any of your contacts that had activity. Activity could mean that there was a new match. Maybe there was a price change. It will let you know exactly which contacts that you should concentrate on. And of course the calendar here will let you know if anything is coming up. Feel free to click on the plus to add events. Last but not least is the quick search. As you'll see here, you have any number of fields. More often than not, when you're using this quick search, you will be using the street name and the street number. I recommend using just very small amounts of information on the quick search. This is meant to find information quickly for you. Unfortunately, you will not be able to save any criteria that has been typed in here. So again, I usually recommend it for just a quick search to grab agent information for a particular property. The one section that I haven't mentioned yet is here, the home page message. This is technically a widget, however, it cannot be moved. This is where you'll come for your most up-to-date information about what's going on in Paragon and the MLS. This has been our Paragon homepage. For more information, please come to stmls.com. You can always go up to the top left corner, click on the Paragon icon, and then select training videos. This has been Ian, your SDMLS specialist, reminding you to play, pause, and practice.